High five. Oh, that was a bad one. One, two. I can't see. I'm looking through the camera. What's up, guys? Today, we are here with my friend Steven. He drove all the way to Idaho. Where was it? Idaho Falls from Seattle, Washington in a snowstorm uh, just to get this car. I kind of gave him shit for it, but he's building it the right way and I'm really stoked. He's pissed on, not pissed off anymore because it's all fixed. Uh, just got it back from the machine shop. Tell us a little bit about it. Yes, this is my uh, 1994. Hold on, wait, who are you? Oh, I'm Steven. Steven, and what's your favorite car? Uh, right now it's a 1991 Subaru Jesse. Subaru Jesse, okay. Yeah, and you used yeah. to drift? I, uh, Insert clip. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you had done on this motor, because it's a pretty sweet motor. It's very different than normal Subarus. Uh, not that many people know about this thing. Yeah, so it's an inline three, which is just weird to begin with. Um, so there's only three cylinders, and there's not four. Like most flat Subaru. So isn't it unbalanced? Yeah, so you got this magic. I have two crankshafts essentially. There's a balance shaft in here. Okay. Um, Let's run through it. Yeah, it does some weird stuff over there. Uh, so yeah, sorry, the balance shaft here just kind of spins the opposite direction of the crankshaft and balances out all the missing so it's like a dual overhead camshaft but there's a one that doesn't open any valves at all it just literally sits in the motor and rotates to keep it balanced yeah it's weird it's bizarre but that's how it works yeah it's got this big uh, extra bulges on the block here oh that is really crazy yeah it's just it's a giant thing that's where it slides in and then, uh, yeah, we had the uh, head just... It's shiny. Show it off, man. Oh! Yeah, no, it's, it's real pretty. It's hot tank cleaned Let's up. Let's get some beauties um, on this guy. Valve's gone through. Uh, camp jack greased up, ready to go. I uh, just need to do valve adjustment on it. Some and, lashes? Uh, yep, yeah, just do some lashes. Looks like your lashes are pretty big. Yeah, that's not quite... You're walking tight, down. But we'll fix that later. Yeah. Ooh, wait, let me see those valves. Uh, yep, yeah, nice shiny. Walnut blasted, lopped. Damn. Ready to go. That looks really good. Yeah, I've never seen a motor like that that I've built. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, this is the first one for me too. This uh, actually never Honestly, I spent this morning putting back together my Forester. Uh, I had a head gasket issue after crashing it, thinking I was Ken Block in the mountains. <laughs> Popped the radiator, overheated it, and uh, my friend's coming from out of town, so I fixed it the same day. Fixed it. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I didn't get the heads machined at all, so. Uh, we'll taking a. Best. Taking a little lesson on learning from him. Because yeah. looks like I am. It's all gone. Um, and then just have the pistons uh, uh, knurled just for a little extra clearance. What's knurled mean? Uh, you just make hit it with some. It's aluminum, so you just push it a little bit, and it's just a couple of valve wider. Uh, okay. Helps the piston slap. Uh, just with old motors, I can, I'm not replacing pistons because I can't find pistons for this thing. So. Kind of stuck using some old parts. Um, doing what we can to make them do everything we want. Um, got some all new bearings with the clearance is all counted out already, so these are all ready to go. What? In here? The machine shop hooked you up. Yep, so. 40, so oh it's okay! Yep. It says it's okay. Um, you took my rings out too, you made sure they're all fit, so those are all perfect. To get are those getting reused? No, these are brand new rings. Uh, I was about to say. Yep, old rings in the bag over there in the corner. Um, crankshaft is ground 20 under, so this bag is 20 over. So um, 20 over, 20 under. We have the head machined. Yeah. We have the crankshaft. Did you have anything done to that? Yeah, no, so the crankshaft is ground. Bring it up, lift it up, and see that yeah. shit. Show us off your money. Ground 20, uh, 20 over, or 20 under. And so that just means that these are a little bit smaller. Uh, so they can put fresh bearings in there. This one had uh, spun rod bangs. This is not the crankshaft that came out of this motor. It's not? No, this is a different one. I went and uh, pulled this out of another car, uh, sitting in a field uh, under a, actually it was in the back of a barn. Um, let's see, back of a barn under a blanket. What was the dude's uh, name? Uh, Edwin. I think I've seen this guy on OfferUp or Craigslist. Offer he up. has like seven justies for sale at all times. Yeah, he's, he's a, he's a good but that's in Bremerton. You have to take a ferry to get there. We're going across the bridge. Oh, yeah. Well, that's far away. Well, dope, dude. Uh, I came over today just so we could help document this crazy journey. Yeah. This is uh, going to be something else. And that guy's nice and ported in there. We're actually... Yeah, the cylinders are on and... Just a box, uh, not hot tank because there's some bangs in here. So, uh, all the chats and stuff like that. There's some problems with the hot tank. Why? Well, it's easy to make bangs. 
Okay, it would expand them versus the two different metals. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, didn't do that. Solve this pretty hard. Um, really more messes manage it. Because you can't get replacements for them. Um, I believe that. That's why everything here has been machined. Yeah, you can't really replace all this stuff unless you find it. Yep. Or you can hit Edwin up in the field. Yeah, but I don't think they're going to be something that you pull out of Yeah, totally. I understand. Yeah, I mean, you can get a huge wild bearing for hard enough. Somebody's playing. <laughs> Sick. So it looks like we got it all. Sick. Well, I got a job to do. He says that's uh, gonna be cleaned up by me. Yeah, guys. It's cool. He gave me the Forester. I think I can clean the valve cover off once. <laughs> all right. Let's get to work. Alright, we're actually going to do an update. Update! Time lapse was uh, out of battery at almost an hour long, so we didn't get to see any of this piston go in. But we got one, two, three in. Got it. Yeah, looking good. We got the timing chain on. This was my job. I had to clean the crap out of this. And now I'm making it all dirty again. Oh, it stinks. That shit smells really bad. Yeah, it's the good stuff. It's like stinky feet. It's vinegary. It's vinegary. Ugh. Kinda want chips now for some reason. Yeah, this would be good chips. <laughs> That'd be good on chips. Yeah. RVT. But, uh, yeah. We still haven't touched this guy yet. I don't know if I'm gonna last long enough to see that go on tonight, but... I was up at like 8.30 this morning building my Subaru, and it's what, 10 minutes? I hope I made everybody yawn. <laughs> <laughs> but it's coming together. Seems to be pretty decent. This is a WRX wiring harness trim. What's left of it? What's left of it? Got dashboards, bumpers, Running diffs, subframes. Yeah, that's the drift subframe. There's a human. And then we uh, also have another room with parts. This was full, but the Justies started to take it out. And then these are like vintage Mark I GTI stuff, which is super cool. I don't know if you can see any of that, but it's pretty sweet. We're just a big car family out here. Oh, Steven's gonna make me so much cooler because he gave me the fans. <laughs> so cool now. Oh wait. We're good to go, man. It looks decent. No. There it is. Don't need it. <laughs> He's down. Fuck yeah, bud. Fuck yeah, bud. That's a really small motor. Yeah. It's like the size of a big football. That's a really big football. Or just like a so two soccer balls glued <laughs> together. It's pretty much just like a snowmobile motor, huh? Three cylinder? 
Yo, baby. Mm. The balance shaft. What we do here is go <laughs> back, 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 back. Hey, you get some screws for this. All right, guys, I think that is going to be it tonight. We're just going to keep this just between us, and we'll see you next time.